We don't know nothing. Food will be gone. And it's zing. Ocean. How weird does Captain Marvel sound to people who are Marvel fans? They probably just sound so horribly generic. They named a superhero after the company? Right? Well, and, and like for anyone who's who's just like a, a general fan of the Marvel movies, they're like, so wait, she's a space pirate? She, a cap wait, what's her, she, does she have superpowers? Is she like, <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to go into this thinking that she's just going to be like another Star Lord. Like, you know, like, oh, okay, another space, what? what? It's, a, it's a character that exists to fuck with DC. Captain Marvel? Shazam. Was, oh, was no. called That's Once right. Upon a Time. Captain Marvel. Then, for whatever reason, that name fell into public domain or they lost the copyright on it. Mm -hmm. So Marvel snatched it up. <laughs> I don't know that for a fact, but I will bet you that is the reason Marvel has a Captain Marvel. Oh, God, yeah. And that's the reason they always will have one. Oh, yeah. Listen, if you if you run Marvel Comics, you need to have a character with Marvel in the name. It's the reason Spider-Girl exists. Oh, yeah? I oh, oh, yeah. They don't want DC having a Spider-Girl because they do Spider-Man. So we need a character called Spider-Girl. <laughs> here's a Spider-Woman. Here's a Spider-Girl. We got those. And then they, they, they fucked with DC a little bit. Uh, Wonder Man. Uh, we got a Wonder Man. Is that copy? No. We're going to have a character, character called Wonder Man. And if you don't know, there is a Marvel character called Wonder Man. <laughs> who has nothing to do with the DC character Wonder Woman. <laughs> he's not He's not like the lost You're prince right, of Amazonia. Right. Just to like, like, rub well, salt in the wound. We can get that <laughs> name. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it didn't click with me that that was, uh, that was a dig at Wonder Woman for a while. I was just like, well, Wonder Man, yeah. And he's lame. Yes, but they get to have that name, which is what's important. Well, that's what's important to Marvel. Fuck you. Someone who hasn't heard about Captain Marvel, it sounds like a satirical superhero. Hmm. It's actually almost. It, it might have actually been more popular than Superman for a short period of time. Oh, yeah? I in think. like the 40s or 50s. I'm trying to remember. Eventually, what... DC sued, the, sued Captain Marvel, the people who did Captain Marvel, saying he was too similar to Superman. And they won, I believe they actually ended up winning the lawsuit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I, yeah, and I don't, I don't, I mean, I barely know anything about Carol Danvers. The, the most I know about Carol Danvers is that's where Rogue got her powers. Right, <laughs> you right. Know, I know nothing about her. I tried picking up her story after, um, after Kamala Khan came out. I was like, oh, I wonder, like, what uh, the old Miss Marvel's doing right now. And I, I just could not figure it out. She's in space. She's super strong. She can fly. I know nothing about no, it couldn't be more popular than Superman. Look it up! Look it up! They sued him because Captain Marvel was pretty popular in the day. Yeah. If you don't know, uh, when I the Captain Marvel I'm talking about is now known as Shazam. The, the boy who says the magic word Shazam, and he turns into a superhero with a cape. He's strong and powerful, looks a lot like Superman. Yep. Only he's, he's red with a lightning bolt on his chest. Shazam's an interesting character. I like the I like the idea behind Shazam. I'm down. I'm down with the idea of just like a kid. Like that's that's just classic wish fulfillment power fantasy. Yeah. Like a, a little kid who can turn into a into a, a big superhero. 
classic. Then you have Spider-Man, who's a power nightmare. Who's a what? Power nightmare. Right, right. I get all these powers, and oh my god, my life is terrible, and there's so much responsibility. <laughs> oh my god, people are trying to kill me, and my Aunt May's dying. I need to get her medicine. <laughs> oh god, having responsibility is terrible. Jesus Christ, I need, to, I need to save the city, but I also can't afford my grandma's medicine. Incidentally, this is why I love Spider-Man. Of course, this he's great. <laughs> he's great. Is Shazam a lame? No, Shazam. Isn't Shazam the wizard? Mm, yes, Maybe? wait. Well, they couldn't call him Captain Marvel after Marvel snatched up the name. They had to call no, him wait. something else. Isn't he still Captain Marvel, but like the book is called Shazam? That could be. Is, um, that might be. Well, a... legally, I'm not sure how that works. I just don't think they can call the book Captain Marvel. I think his name is still Captain Marvel. This is... This is a fantastic question that I don't know the answer to. Shazam is the wizard we're, we're getting. Kazam was the genie, right. Shazam is the wizard, but they still call the guy Shazam. Come, you know what? Here's the thing, Dinster56. Comics are crazy convoluted and super weird all the time. You thought Captain Marvel was a woman. Marvel's Captain Marvel is a woman. But... DC's Captain Marvel is a man and, who's also a boy and legally can't be called Captain Marvel. And Marvel's <laughs> Captain Marvel is a woman who used to be called Miss Marvel who was, hus who was wife to the original boy Captain Marvel of the Marvel Universe who now goes by Captain Marvel. It's great. And that sentence is accurate. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. But the current Carol Danvers used to be Miss Marvel. Most people will probably know her as the person Rogue got her super strength and flight from. But before that, she was Miss Marvel, the wife to the old Captain Marvel, who is dead? <laughs> And she's the new Captain Marvel, and the new Miss Marvel is is Kamala Khan, who has the stretchy powers. See, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. If you if you're not if you're not following, <laughs> Marvel's Captain Marvel yeah. is entirely unrelated. Marvel swooped in and grabbed the name once legally it became free. Like DC hadn't used their Captain Marvel in so much time. And suddenly the name was free and anyone could use the name. So then Marvel said, okay, now we're going to have a character called Captain Marvel. Now DC can't use this name. Right. And so they made a superhero, Captain Marvel, who was a boy at the time. A man. Who was a man at the time. This is some rival company bullshit going on. Yeah. And, their, and Marvel's Captain Marvel had very similar power to DC's Captain Marvel, where he was just strong and could fly. But then there was space is, is on. DC's Captain Marvel wasn't originally DC's Captain Marvel. They only got that Captain Marvel after they sued Fawcett Publications, who originally produced Captain Marvel. What? <laughs> is this true? Yes! You're a crazy person. No, it was, they, it was, they sued him. They said it's too much like Superman. You can't do that. So great. The courts agreed. So DC's Captain Marvel wasn't originally DC's Captain Marvel. In any case, it's not at all related to Marvel's Captain Marvel, who wasn't the original Marvel Captain Marvel. And neither of them are related to Captain Marvel. <laughs> oh, you're right! I forgot about that! No, he's not Captain Marvel, he's the Marvel. <laughs> is that right? it? I, the <laughs> Marvel, which is a total which is an alien in the X-Men Marvel universe. Oh, fuck, Rich. <laughs> oh, comic books are so fucked. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Marvel. <laughs> oh, 